our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. This is probably the confidant rank. You probably have to do that first, and then you get the confidant, because the confidant rank ones are always voiced. They lack jobs, security, savings. The next generation will lead us into the future, and yet they have no plan for how to arrive there. Watch where you're going, you little shit. You bumped into me, you old goat. This isn't good. Uh, we should mediate. Yes, let's. Good citizens, please stop fighting. What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none of your business. Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. What's with this guy? Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together. We can create a bright future for the next generation. Ugh. God. So righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora. What? As if anyone would actually vote for you. Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? These people need to stop being rude. You criminal! No, no. That, that was all in the past. Oh, I've gone and done it again. Uh, this one, I guess, that's campaign obstruction. Yes, but I cannot say that to the crowd before an election. Regardless, whenever someone calls me no good Torah. I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Torah's three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then, I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the diet, but do you see the man before you? Yeah, we should. Do you really want to receive my guidance? Yeah, you seem like a cool dude. Uh, your speeches sound great. I'm happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? I'm confident in yourself. <laughs> You're doing a good job of cheering me up. But you may be right. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? Yes. New confidant already. We got like what two today? We got two confidants, Kawakami and Yoshida. Is this guy? I don't think he's not a new confidant, but I don't remember him from the original. Maybe I missed him because he is pretty missable. He's easy to miss, I would see. Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult 
For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings what, of what, persona, what arcana is he? Of captivity. With the birth of the sun persona, I was right, sun persona. I, have obtained... I was not really sure if it was sun persona. I've been calling him the sun confidant, but I wasn't sure. Yes, rank one. All right. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. We have like an hour left of stream. You. Oh, hey, you again. Yes. Yeah, oh, what? I should have got more points for that. Rip. Every Sunday. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Good to have that in mind. So every Sunday, we're going to go to Yoshida. Good to know. Also, I'm going to start... Ch I have to remember to check the plan. I always forget. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madurame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. That's a valid point, and one of the oldest jokes in the book. <laughs> The crowd's going wild now. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Well, I think you're wrong. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. Agreed. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. It's not- it's kind of hard not to do that when all the adults are basically like... Scum, for lack of a better word. I'm not really one to like spam curse words, so like I'm trying to find the right synonym to use, but yeah, when all the adults are messed up, it's kind of hard to let things fall into the way of the law. Just saying. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. Ryuji, don't blow this for us, please. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. 
That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Why me? Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Well... I feel like saying this. This is a pretty like bland answer. I want to say something a little more descriptive. They're, they do more than the cops. <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? That highly depends. Because, like, a complete change of heart, yeah, I would. But, like, also, they only target criminals. Trust me, Ryuji's no criminal. I see. But how can you be so sure? Oh, you have no idea. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep going, okay? Yeah, you might as well. Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. For what? To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. I wish I knew who that was. <laughs> my apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do is the adults say. Yeah, adults can be complex. In this game especially. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Yeah, they'd fight to the end. We would never run. Oh? You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's alright with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Uh, yeah, it's fine by me. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. By the way, I've been... 
holding this in the whole the whole time he's been talking, but his voice is definitely really familiar, and I recognize it. Just can't pinpoint who it is right now. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Oh, we get a confidant with him. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, that does make sense. Based on that. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. Why does the voice like change it for this kind of confidant? Of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. I don't really understand. Is this for like an important confidant? The birth of the justice persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Ah, uh, well, maybe it's either rank one or it's a specific confidant. I don't understand it, but whatever. All right, Goro Akechi. Rank one, Alpha Justice Persona. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. Yeah, I guess we shall. And registered. I've also heard of like they overhaul the catchy's confidant, so now you can actually hang out with him. Before he was story driven, like his confidant would rank up throughout the story, like Morgana. But I think now they changed it where you can actually hang out with the catchy. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. That'll probably happen now, because we can... The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. Definitely the not. Hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Yeah, this is definitely new. You cannot hang out with him in the original game. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait. Was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. He's cool dude, but like gotta... Gotta be suspicious of him. Him and Makoto. Both of them, the student council president. And him. Both of them are on my list. Mm. Yeah, we did. I kind of expected to. Of course there are going to be people who disagree with us, but they're just wrong. Ideally, he did have a point. He wasn't like 100% right. He did have some valid points. Yeah, I think it was necessary. We definitely did save people. And we are helping by making these people change their ways. Oh, this game makes you like think of what's right and wrong. Can't deny that. Hard to trust the law when all the adults are like, in their own little world. Good. Please don't. Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. True. You got a point, Cat. <laughs> 